I mentioned at the end of the last video that we were going to get into detailing, but before we get into detailing, I want to go and look at our title sheets and getting those set up properly. So if I go into the one we created earlier, and if I click on this title block, and if I go to edit type, again, you see there's not much that I can do here. But I can go to edit family, and in here is where I can, for instance, delete that out. And if I wanted to put like the OTC image in here, all I have to do is go to insert and I can go to image and I grab that image and I say open and then I can come in here and place it and I can shrink it down to where it fits in here. And I can make sure that it's centered, etc. So I can have that in there. So now you see we have the OTC logo in here. And again, I could come in here and modify this. I could type in otc.edu. Once I get the basic elements changed in the title block, then I just click on load into project and close. So here, when I get into my actual project, I could come in here and change this. So I could say that the owner is Miss Wade, and the project name is Structural Steel. And I can name this sheet. I can give this another name if I want to. Let's call this um, Small Storage small structural building and then I can give it a project number I can give it an issue date I can put who it is drawn by Put my initials who it's checked by and then I would name my sheets accordingly so I'm going to go ahead and leave this one s1 and right now the only drawing I have on here has the scale at an eighth of an inch to go ahead and finish setting up this sheet again I'm going to go back to my level one right now my crop is not on so I want to turn that on so that I can see that and right now I want it to be visible and I'm going to say apply and I want to go ahead and in this case I'm going to pull these elevation marks out of here so that I don't see them in my drawing. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this as close to the edge of my drawings as possible. So that's my sheet S1. And now I'm going to again hide this because I don't want to see it. I want to leave it on there but I don't want to see it. So now if I go back to my S1 sheet you'll see I don't have that box around there any longer and I can take this and move it wherever I want. You'll notice when this sheet came in it had a title that came in with it. So if I click on this it highlights this. So I can pull this over and I can grab this and pull this over and I can grab this and I can pull it up to where it's inside my sheet and that looks really good. Now because my second level plan would probably fit on here I could go ahead and put it on here and I think I will go ahead and put it on here so I'm going to go to my level 2 plan and again I'm going to go through the same process of setting this up so I'm going to turn on my crop view and in this case my elevation marks since I moved them out are already moved out so I'm just going to squeeze down my crop view and 
And then I'm going to go back and leave my crop view on but turn the visibility part off. Now I'm going to go to my S1 sheet. And now I'm going to drag my level 2 into here. Now we want to make sure that our grid lines are aligned. So I can do that by using my annotate tab and using my detail line and I can pick the end of that line and I can drag it over here. Then I can just grab this window and I can do move and I can grab that endpoint and I can bring it up to where it hits that line. So now horizontally everything is aligned. Now again I want to move this over to the right just a little bit. Hopefully I don't mess up my alignment. So I have a little bit more space between the two. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to move this to where it aligns with this one. And they're actually down kind of far. So I'm going to move that back up a little bit. And then I'm going to move this one up. And again, I want them to align. When I get them close, you see I get an alignment line. Typically, I like to keep the end of this line. And again, if I pick on my box, close to where the end of my grid bubbles are. So somewhere right in this vicinity. And the same over here, I like for it to line up with whatever is the farthest on my sheet over here. This one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull this in and I'm going to grab this one and pull it in. And you'll see that this is now number one and this is number two on sheet S1. And again, my scale is the same. So now I want to go ahead and create my S2 sheet to put my third level plan on. So I'm going to come down here to my sheets and if I right click and I go to new sheet, again it's going to pick up my 24 by 36. I'm going to say OK. And now it should have named it S2 but I was messing around earlier and created an S2 so I'm going to call it S2. And you'll notice everything stayed the same except for this which I need to change according to whatever this sheet is in particular. So now I'm going to go to my level 3 plan and I'm going to again turn on my crop view and again I'm going to stretch this in And again, now I'm going to turn the visibility of that off and I'm going to say apply. And now I'm going to go to my sheet S2. And now I'm going to drag my S3 sheet into here, or my S3 level. And now it says level 3 and it's given it the number 1 again. So if I click on this box, I can drag this over and I can drag this over and I want to label this sheet level 3 plan structural plan So now I very quickly have set up two of my sheets. I need to go back to sheet S1 because I named that incorrectly. This should have been first and second level structural plan. One other thing that I did not do on this sheet is I did not place my north arrow and that's extremely important as most of you are aware. So again if I go to annotate and I go to symbol you'll see I have a north arrow here. So if I just click on that and I bring it in I like to put it on each plan. So I'm going to place one there 
and I'm going to place one right there. Now I have completed this sheet. And again, I want to match this, so I'm going to say third level structural plan. So now I've got those set up on there. The other thing that I can do is I can now create and place my sections that we did on here. So on this sheet, I should have adequate room to place my section number one. So again, I'm gonna go into that section. I'm going to check my visibility. And again, we made that one pretty tight. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this out to here. Stretch this out to, if I can get a hold of it. Here. And here. And now again, I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to go back to my sheet S2 and I'm going to take that section and now I'm going to drag it onto my sheet. And that fits on there very well. And I can move it down or I can leave it in the middle, however I want to do it. So I want to rename this. So I'm going to go into that drawing and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna do rename and I'm gonna call this building cross section. I'm going to go ahead and name this one building longitudinal section. So now if I go back to this sheet you'll see it changed that to building cross section. So here I need to update this and building cross section. And that doesn't really fit in there. So I may want to do some modification to that. Let's do third level and we'll just leave out structural and we'll see if that will fit. Not quite. So let's do an abbreviation of building. And again, I could go modify my title block, but there I got it in there and it gets the point across. Before I move on, again, I must add my north arrow. So again, I'm going to go to symbol and I still have north arrow selected. So I'm gonna choose that. And I'm gonna come in here and place that in this location. I do not need a north arrow for my section. North arrows are only on plan views. So now I have that sheet set up. So I need to create one more sheet at this point. So I'm gonna do new sheet. And again, 24 by 36. I'm gonna say, okay, and now again, this time it did name it the third sheet. And on this title, I'm gonna put in Blanja building section and I'm going to go back to that building section and again I'm going to turn back on my visible area and I'm going to go ahead and drag this down and drag this over drag that up Drag that over. These guys really could be a little closer over here. And then I'm gonna go back and turn that visibility off and say apply. And now I'm gonna to go to my sheet S3 and I am going to drag that section on to this sheet. And again, I can zoom in here and move that over, move that over. And now that sheet is set up. 
So now we are ready to actually get in and do the detailing. So we'll do that in the next video. Thank you.